Hello, my name is Craig Maloney, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about debugging with Vim, Tmux, and PUDB, which I use in concert with each other. These are all applications that I use in my day-to-day -day work as part of my integrated development environment. So let's get started. I'm going to show you a little bit about Tmux. Um, so this is me moving back and forth between various windows. As you can see, I'm moving back and forth between my Vim editor and my Bash session. Uh, that's about all I'm going to talk about with Tmux. I could do an entire video about Tmux, but right now I want to focus a little more on Vim and PUDB. So if I run PUDB using the following command, dash M, PUDB, and then this command, which uh, will run tootstream, which is a package that I maintain, it will then go through. And if you're familiar with any of the development environments like Turbo C, or Turbo Pascal or any a number of these things. It has um, a lot of very similar syntax. So I can use N to move down to the next line. And it's the next line as far as the next line of execution. I can then also step into a particular thing. And it, you'll note uh, over on the right hand side that variables are being set as well. And so this is a list of all the variables that have been set. This is a list of the stack that's currently in there. And this is a list of breakpoints. I'm not sure why that one's in there. Hopefully we can get rid of that. Anyways, so let's, uh, let's run C to get into the rest of the application. So if I run help, it looks pretty much like the standard version of Tootstream. Let's get out of that real quick because it's not going to be interesting unless we actually do some actual uh, exceptions. And hopefully there's no exceptional code in there. But we can create a breakpoint. And so let me run this. This is using Vim with Snipmate. So it has a snippet in there that I've entered for PUDB, which will allow me to run this import uh, command here. And so it'll import PUDB and set the trace uh, at that particular point. So let's see what that looks like. So let me rerun this command rid of that and so now we can see that it does that but if I run toot and yes in Mastodon they're called toots it'll then bring up this uh, section of the code and so it'll set the posted uh, here as a boolean and if I hit backspace it'll let me know what posted is we will do the, these other little bits here for the visibility and such and now here I am in this editor. So I'm going to write testing one, two, three. And if I continue on, then it shows me that I've tested, uh, posted our test two, which is testing one, two, three, which is kind of cool. But what's also interesting about this, and what's neat if you're doing something like multi-threaded, uh, or if you're using multi-processing, or if you're using a web application. Uh, this is because you won't want to have your web application try and bring up PUDB and that whole session like that. You'll want it to do something a little more remote. So use this, and I've got this as a shortcut as well. This will set up a remote instance. So if I then go back here and I type toot, You'll notice down here it says PUDB, please tell it into this particular address, which is localhost. So let's do that. And now I have a remote session, which has uh, basically the same thing that I would have if I was running on that particular console. So let me once again do this. Now it's going to go back over here. Here's where the the editing is occurring. So let's testing once more because I can. And now I'm heading back over here. And now it will show that and there, there are some little interesting things about how it does screens and all that other kind of stuff. But you get the general idea of what it's doing. So that has been a quick demonstration of Python debugging with Vim, Tmux, and PUDB. I hope you have a great rest of your Pi Ohio. Take care. Bye-bye.